when the particular party mature their life that may be 30 years or 40 years or death whichever life we are going to pay back there is a net liability you already paid the interim bonus that should be deducted whatever the difference comes that is the final bonus post to policy holder life fund the net liability will be deducted to know that how much surplus available for each year Hello my dear students I am Dr B S Subramanya called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management Vidyashram first grade college a temple of excellence Mysore today I am going to hand in this session corporate accounting 2 fourth semester unit 2 session 1 in favor of accounting for life insurance so there are two types of insurance we have got one is called general insurance one is called the life insurance which are the two types are one is the general insurance another is called life insurance general insurance is made for a particular what's called venture or we can say due to accident will be fire be made marine insurance will be there is only for one year whereas life insurance is made for the sake of life it may be 30 years 40 years or 35 years 20 years for a longer period so whatever the premium you are paying that is going to be accumulated at the end of the life no we made the insurance for 30 years or 35 years will pay back after 35 years or the death whichever is earlier with the bonus this is life long period whereas general insurance is made only for one year for a particular event the event may be fire event may be accident event may be marine but whereas the life insurance is made throughout the life it may be 10 years 15 years 20 years we are going to make will pay back your money after the maturity of your time may be 20 years or 25 years or the death whichever is earlier with the bonus here in the life insurance we have got two parts one is valuation of balance sheet for 10 mark final accounts of life insurance for 15 mark which are the two items are valuation of balance sheet for 10 months and final accounts of life insurance for 15 months today in this session we are going to deal valuation of balance sheet for 10 months so contain preparation of valuation of balance sheet preparation of final account as per the latest regulation today in this session we are going to discuss preparation of valuation of balance sheet then first i am going to explain what is valuation of balance sheet valuation of balance sheet a valuation of account is usually a balance sheet account that is used in combination of with another balance sheet account in order to report the carrying amount of an asset or a liability an example of valuation of balance sheet that is associated with an asset is the allowance for the doubtful account in case of insurance with name the valuation of balance sheet is mostly prepared in case of life insurance with name what is actually valuation of balance sheet we have got a life fund accumulated whatever the premium you are going to pay that is accumulated and become the life fund of the insurance company when the particular party mature their life that may be 30 years or 40 years or death whichever life we are going to pay back there is a net liability for the life fund the net liability will be deducted to know that how much surplus available for each year so first we find out the life fund at the end of the year out of that net liability will be deducted whatever the difference come that is the surplus i will show the format of this see that valuation of balance life fund at the end whatever the net liability available at the end of that year that should be deducted the balance is the surplus this is the first step to take once you take no then we have to calculate the true surplus surplus as per balance sheet add interim bonus which is already paid they should be added back to know the real surplus because you already paid they should be added back to know the real surplus out of that any profit carried forward should be deducted any dividend on capital you calculate should be deducted whatever the difference that is the true surplus what is the first step life fund at the end of the year minus net liability is the surplus for a surplus add interim bonus should be added minus profit carried forward should be deducted minus dividend should be deducted whatever the difference come that is the true surplus then 
in the third step distribution of true surplus as per the insurance business 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder out of the true surplus 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder then the last step the last step final balance to policy holder you already calculate 95% here now this 95% here you already paid the interim bonus that should be deducted whatever the difference comes that is the final bonus post to policy holder we are showing the money we are showing the figure showing how much final bonus is payable see the picture this is the final bonus payable to policy holder we are showing in the picture with the money available to policy holder with a figureization of work so the steps are we'll go back one by one this is a life fund net liability should be deducted difference is the surplus then out of the surplus no this is the money available in surplus add interim bonus which is already paid should be add back profit carried forward the next year should be deducted dividend should be deducted balance is the true surplus third step step number 3 out of the true surplus 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder as per the law if the inform 1 is to 19 according to that only we are going to do but if there is no information 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder the what's called the final one final balance to policy holder 95% of the surplus what we calculated minus interim bonus should be deducted whatever the balance comes that goes to final bonus to policy holder 10 marks definite question from the examination of point of view university of mysore every year they are asking the this type of question very very simple question they are going to ask and very easy to do the four step to do first we find out the surplus out of the surplus find out the true surplus distribution surplus among the policy holder and the shareholder 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder then final bonus payable to policy holder so in this session we are going to solve about the two problems to understand what is the valuation of balance sheet so we'll go with a one problem now a life insurance company gets its valuation made once in every 3 years the life assurance fund on 31st march 2040 amount to rupees 50 lakh 41000 before providing for rupees 60000 for the shareholder dividend for the year ending its actual valuation on 31st march disclose the net liability of rupees 48 lakh this is important your fund is how much 50 lakh 41000 your net liability is 48 lakh under the insurance and annuity contract an interim bonus of rupees 59000 was paid to the policy holder during the premium ending 31st march 2014 you are required to prepare a statement showing the amount of the available to bonus to policy holder balance goes to shareholder what is your fund available 50 lakh 41000 what is the first step i told you life fund at the end of the year minus net liability we will move on the following suggestion steps to be follow first we should prepare the valuation of balance sheet on 31st march 2014 with the help of the life assurance fund on 31st march and the net liability as per actual valuation that means out of the life fund net liability should be deducted that is the first step secondly we should adjust the interim bonus and dividend for the year ending 31st due to shareholder with the surplus revealed by the valuation of balance sheet that mean surplus add interim bonus minus dividend minus profit carried forward thirdly we should ascertain the total bonus paid out of the true surplus 95% goes to policy holder 5% goes to shareholder lastly we should ascertain the final bonus due to policy holder by deducting from the total bonus to policy holder the interim bonus which is already paid so as per the problem what is your life fund on 31st march 50 lakh 41000 then your net liability as per the problem is 48 lakh how much surplus 
टू लैख फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड इज द सर प्लेस वॉट इज द लाइफ फंड फिफ्टी लैख फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड युवर नेट लाइब्रिटी इज फोर्टी एट लैक द एक्सेस अमाउंट इज टू लैक फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड इज द सर प्लेस अवेलेबल सेकेंड स्टेप कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ट्रू सर प्लेस सर प्लस एज पर वैल्युएशन ऑफ बैलेंस शीट इज टू लैक फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड एड इंटीरियम बोनस इज ऑलरेडी पेड इंटीरियम बोनस और इंटीरियम डिविडेंट ऑलरेडी पेड शुड बी एडेड माइनस डिविडेंट दे हैव गिवन द प्रॉब्लम सी दैट बोनस इज फिफ्टी नाइन थाउजेंड एंड डिविडेंट इज गिवन सिक्सटी थाउजेंड दुड बी रिएक्टेड टू लैक फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी नाइन थाउजेंड This should be deducted. This is the true surplus as per the valuation is two lakh forty thousand. Out of the true surplus, ninety five percent goes to policy holder, five percent goes to shareholder. Out of the as per time the true total bonus payable to policy holder, policy holder entitled to ninety five percent of the true surplus or profit as bonus. So the total bonus payable to policy holder. Two lakh forty thousand into ninety five per day, so they goes to two lakh twenty eight thousand goes in favor of policy holder. Five percent to shareholder, two lakh forty thousand to five by hundred, twelve thousand goes to what's called shareholder. Ninety five percent goes to policy holder, five percent goes to shareholder. Come back to this this step. Final bonus to policy holder. This is the last step to pay. Total bonus to policy holder is two lakh twenty eight thousand. That is a ninety eight percent less interim bonus is already paid. How much? Fifty nine thousand. The final bonus is payable is one lakh sixty nine thousand to the policy holder. So there are four steps to be taken. Find out out of the life fund net liability should be deducted. Difference is a surplus. What is next step? For a surplus, interim bonus should be added. Profit carried forward should be deducted. As per this problem, there is no profit carried forward. That's why you are not taken. Dividend should be deducted. That is the true surplus. Then in the third step, out of the true surplus, ninety-five percent goes to policy holder, five percent goes to shareholder. In the last step, the real value goes to policy holder. Out of ninety-five percent, they already enjoy the interim bonus that should be deducted. What you have done? This how they direct it. This is the first problem. Hope you understand this one. Second one, a life insurance company gets its valuation paid in every three years. The life insurance fund on thirty first March two thousand four amounts to rupees sixty lakh forty one thousand before providing rupees sixty thousand for shareholders dividend for the year ending and actually and forty five lakh is the net liability. And an interim bonus of sixty thousand. We'll go same thing. Step number one. First, we should prepare the valuation of balance sheet with the help of the life insurance fund as on thirty first March, and net liability should be deducted. Second test: whatever the surplus come, interim bonus should be added, dividend should be deducted, profit carried forward should be. Difference is the true surplus. Ninety five percent goes to policy holder. Five percent goes to shareholder. Here, your life assurance for another day for sixty lakh forty one thousand. Your net liability is forty five lakh. Difference is fifteen lakh forty one thousand. Is the surplus. We'll go to second step. Here, surplus as per the valuation balance sheet fifteen lakh forty one thousand. Add interim on sixty thousand should be added. It becomes sixteen lakh one thousand. Even the dividend is is given sixty thousand. Once again, it comes to fifteen lakh forty one thousand. Is the true surplus. So interim bonus should be added and dividend should be deducted. Now the next step: How much? Ninety five percent goes to policy holder. Five percent goes to shareholder. Asset ninety five percent of fifteen lakh forty one is fourteen lakh sixty three thousand nine fifty goes to. Policy holder and five percent goes to shareholder. So, what is the final bonus payable to policy holder? Ninety five percent goes to fourteen lakh sixty three thousand nine fifty. Already they paid. They already enjoyed how much money? Sixty thousand. That should be deducted. The balance is fourteen lakh three thousand nine fifty. That goes to final bonus to policy holder. First, ninety five percent should goes to policy holder. 
फाइव परसेंट गोस टू शेयर होल्डर आउट ऑफ नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑलरेडी पेड इंटीरियर बोनस और इंटीरियर दैट शुड बी डिटेड दैट इज अ फाइनल बोनस पेएबल टू पार्स होल्डर डेफिनेट प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस विल आस फॉर टेन मार्स दिस सेशन आई सॉल्व अबाउट द टू प्रॉब्लम्स and i have explained detailly what is a valuation of balance sheet in the next session we are going to solve another two or three problem of valuation of balance sheet so that we can make a perfect about the 10 marks is concerned so we'll meet in the next session till then goodbye meet in the next class